under a copy. Okay, we're free. Uh, rates look pretty good. Let's fuck it together. Ready. She's uh, lined up, not bad. Okay. Uh, prime one. Mark it. Stand by. There she comes. Just to round out things as we uh, pitch back into uh, LOI attitude, uh, lo and behold, from over the top of the lamp came the earth. Very good. Put the whole thing in one big package. Here 
interesting, Gordo. We can uh, we can see uh, we're right over South America, and of course we can see up the Gulf Coast, and it looks like Houston's uh, covered with clouds. But uh, poetically enough, we can see the Cape. At least we can see Florida. How about that? This is Apollo Control, 89 hours, 15 minutes, ground elapsed time. Some 55 seconds until Apollo 17 comes from behind the moon on the start of the first lunar orbit. The ignition time was 88.54.21 and ground elapsed time. We're waiting word from the communications officer that we have indeed uh, gotten a signal and telemetry from the spacecraft. Well, yeah, it is. There's the airways limits right there. Hello there, America. We hear you talking. Yeah, I thought it dropped off. Hey, it dropped off. Hello, America. This is Houston. How do you read? Hey, yeah, we're in attitude. America, Houston, over. Well, high gain prompt. Auto and uh, narrow. Here in the control center, we're hearing the uh, crew aboard the spacecraft and Apollo 17 very clearly. However, the ground has not been able to fully lock up on the spacecraft with the so-called uplink, and apparently it has to do with the 85-foot antenna at Goldstone. Oh, America, how do you read Houston, over? America... Houston, this is America. You can breathe easier. America has arrived on station for the challenge ahead. Very good. Uh, we've been hearing you for a couple minutes now. Uh, we've had a ground sight problem, but uh, you're loud and clear now. Hey, I just saw a flash on the lunar surface. Oh, yeah? Uh, it was just right out there north of Grimaldi. Just north of Grimaldi. You might see if you got anything on your seismometers. Although uh, a small impact probably would give a fair amount of visible light. Okay, well, Jack. It was a bright little flash right out there near that crater. Uh, see the crater right at the edge of Grimaldi? Then there's another one north of it. Fairly sharp one north of it. It's where uh, there was just a pinprick of, of light. Bob, I can now see down in through the shadow. I can see uh, Bear Mountain. I can see, uh, I can't really make out the uh, the slide yet. Most of the uh, North Massif are still in uh, in shadow due to the uh, due to the uh, sculptured hills. And uh, just at the point where we can start reading really see through the shadows and see the uh, some hummocky terrain on the uh, North Massif that just went out of my next reach. Okay, I got the landing site. We're right over the top of it. And the scarp is fantastically detailed at this, uh, can you see in there, Gene? Right down, right down, straight down there. The, uh, sli the uh, light mantle is ob very obviously mantling the area. The uh, scarp was very detailed and uh, so far, could not see any uh, structure in the mass east at all, but I haven't had any, I uh, didn't have much time to watch it on that pass. i tell you, from this altitude uh, and uh, with that low sun, uh, there's no question of the sharpness of the uh, topographic features in the uh, landing area.
Okay, okay, stand by. It's stand by. Stereo. It's stereo. Power. Uh, it's power now. V over H. You want it now? Yeah. Okay, power. V over H. High altitude. Okay, high altitude. Okay, now, uh... Laser up. Do you want the laser altimeter on it, too, huh? Right. Uh, that's pretty much on a time thing, yeah. Okay, wait a couple minutes for that. Here's what we're going to do, Jack. we got a couple minutes. We're going to put the laser altimeter on in about... Do you want to start the paint? No, Not yet. No, we no, we no, I'm going to start for okay, start time. Go ahead. Right. Just say so got standby stereo power and high okay. altitude. Got it. Okay, then the next things we're going to do, don't do them yet, are laser altimeter on and image motion on and mapping camera on. And pan camera, I'll give you a T-start on it. And an image motion increase. Okay. What's BP plus four steps? That's Barbara Cole plus four steps. Oh, yeah, Cole. yeah, okay. And then uh, I do, that's right. I'll give you all those calls, and they all come one right after the other, starting at about 4 8, and it's 4 4 0. Okay. Four minutes, you mean? And then Ron? Yeah. Okay. And then Ron, uh, yours is Gelly. Uh, Gelly. 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 And you want uh, command module three, you want the 80 millimeter lens, uh, intervalometer at 20. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Is it? No. I'm not sure. What are you looking at? Just the sunlight. Terminate. Couldn't see it. I can't see it. See if I can go there. Can't do it. Gone. Look at this. Gone. Terminator's gone? I can't even see the moon. Well, why don't you come over here and look? Here, try to see it. Got it. Okay. Oh! <laughs> shoot! I thought we saw it coming in a while it's ago. It's snowing. <laughs> Closer now, we're rounded off. I we came in from a lot higher level. I'm up and around. Well, that, that, that's a ridge of a. Look at that thing. No wonder it looked like a central, linear central yeah. peak from back. It is. It's a. It's a. It's part of a ring, but it, there's only one part of it that really uh, sticks out. Yeah. It's snowing out there. Is this? Yeah, how else did it get white? Started there. Okay, let's see. We got uh, another minute or so. Ron, uh, yours is. Uh, F2.8 at the 250th, infinity. Okay. 58 frames? Yeah, it's pretty long. Okay. He's going to be clicking for years. Oh, yeah, I'll give you your changes. I'll try and give you your changes on this. Boy, I'll tell you, this is nothing but paperwork. Yeah, this is, uh, is going to be a good one. Okay, Jack, you can put the laser altimeter on. Say what, now? Now, yeah. Okay, laser altimeter on. Imi image motion on. On. Okay, now hold off. It says at 144, I want to, I want the uh, mapping camera on, but I don't know where the hell. 144, Ryan, right? that's about, uh, I think Coral Lab is right on. That's all right, just time. I'll just do it on time. Do it on time. Do it on time. Close to in there somewhere. Another uh, two minutes for the mapping camera. Okay. You going to start the center window run? Yeah. Okay. So I can find out which one it takes. Which one? Okay, let's see. That's got to be I'll a kill you on time. Oh, that's quite up with that big uh, center, that ridge. It's really a... I don't think you can quite see Carl yet, can you? Oh, yeah, I think so. That's the same one I was seeing coming in, I'm pretty sure. Well, that's that's Coral Lab with a big uh, ridge going yeah. down through there. Yeah. Almost, yeah. Okay, Galois is supposed to have a central peak in the thing. Coral Lab is right on the Terminator now. Okay, Jack, you can put the uh, mapping Center? camera on. No, I think your coil has... No, I think it's, a, it's... I don't think you can see it quite yet. Mapping camera on. Yeah, let's just verify all these. Uh, fan yeah. camera is standby stereo power. Yeah. V over H, high altitude. Yeah. Laser, laser altimeter on. Yeah. Image motion on. Yeah. You got the mapping camera on. Okay, it's on now. Okay, and that's it. That's at 47.50, okay, and pan camera I want in one minute, or I know about uh, two and a half minutes. Okay.
At about uh, 90, at about 58, we want to put V over H to low. 58. Yeah. Okay, five minutes. What, do we change the crooks? No. Uh, keep going until you're past crooks. Past crooks, then uh, five, six minutes. And you're looking at crooks, aren't you? Yeah. The one with the breech crater on this side? Yeah, it's got a breech crater on the side of it. Yeah. Looks like somebody's walked up to it. An alligator. Yeah. Right over all those other craters. Yeah, walked right over those other craters. Boy, the I tell you, the slump slopes on that thing really look steep. Jack, on your side, you ought to have uh, McKellar coming up there in the foreground a ways. It's, it's pretty subtle on that side, isn't it? Yeah, but I tell you, there's still in these craters. And it's so smooth, I can't believe it. It really is smooth. And there's some that uh, is quite wavy and rough. There. Got some of these, uh, <clears throat> have the, uh... Okay, Ron, that's well, about, uh, what time is it? Over here, uh, window five at, uh, yeah, uh 54. 54. Indications of craters. Okay, just as you go past Crooks, you can go to 5.6. No indications of relief. And they cross, okay? Crater borders, although uh, generally the ones I, well, not, generally they're in the plane. Yeah, they they're all the smooth yeah, plane. Right. Look like there's been a lot of one-legged chickens running around, all in the same direction. Locally, uh, some of the depressions are uh, extremely smooth. Ryan, you want to roll five, five, six light wow. plane material. And you want to go to uh, number four, window number four. Window number four? Yep. Okay, here's one that looks like uh, a hummocky uh, material that spilled over into another uh, crater. Window number four, and you want to be on five, six, but then uh, to get past Icarus. Icarus? I don't know which one's Icarus. Icarus but well, how about that big one out there in, uh, with the... Is that a, uh, a very symmetrical pyramid mountain out there? Isn't that Icarus? Huh? I would guess that that is Icarus. I would guess. That is Icarus. I don't know if you can see it out your window or not. You see that very pyramid-like central peak? Over here, Ron. That's that one. I got everything uh, this way. Look at that. That's Icarus because here's... Damn it, everything went to... Pop it back the other way. <laughs> well, you want to stay. Are you... Uh, I'm still a little... Okay, an F8 is about... Uh, you want to stay at, stay at 5-6, right? Yeah. Okay, stay at 5-6, and you should be in window 4. Okay, here's one of those uh, cone-shaped craters with uh, what looks very much like fill at the bottom. It doesn't look like slump at all. It just looks like the thing spilled up from the bottom up to... Uh, Oh, about a sixth of its depth. A little bit few uh, low hummocks, but generally very smooth material on the bottom. Ron, I'd say that's the Daldris over there. Could be uh, debris this off of Daedalus? the uh, I'd start it wall. right out here. That's Daedalus. Okay, you can, uh, let's see, uh, you can start thinking about in the next minute going to F8. Okay. Yeah, that's Daedalus over there. Daedalus, we're coming up on right out over there. The big one with a very, looks like it's draped over with the, uh, uh, you ready for me on low, al uh, low altitude at, uh, yeah, any time. Okay, mark it, low altitude. What's my next one, Gene? You got anything? Okay, let me turn the page. For about 10 or 12 minutes, we'll stop the pan camera. Okay, what, uh, forget what that. large crater is due south of us, Gene? Do you have that on your map? Well, uh, how about uh, debris? Will you buy that? Very large basin. Yeah, well, Araka? Yeah. Is Ingeni, Ingen, 
Out on the horizon. Way out on the horizon. Oh. Now, let's see. Blocked out, I guess, by uh, overprint. Ryan, you go to F8. F8. Okay. They didn't come back to the uh, center window. <laughs> yeah, that's Daedalus right there, Ryan. I know that. What I'm looking at here. Can't tell which one. Well, that's dead Daedalus over here. See, but you know, when we look out different windows, it's hard to tell where yeah, you're looking at the same right. thing. Okay, well, we went right by Icarus and Daedalus. <laughs> and the next big thing, here's Gregarin, I think. No, that I've got coming out. Uh, we go. So damn near Heaviside and Keeler. Heaviside and Keeler up there. I can see those. Now. Can you see those coming? Okay, well, yeah, they're already passed. And Jack should have Aitken on his side. Damn near below us, though. Well, there's a good scarp, false scarp, but uh, south of uh, Keeler. Heavy side, I mean. Okay, now, see, I'm looking the wrong way to see heavy side Keeler. Where are you looking? That's right over that way. See those big mothers over there? Okay, this is Aitken. Got Aitken. You got Aitken. Oh, on Aitken. Okay. And it's got uh, those crazy little stellar rim craters with the uh, domical floors. And it's around. Heavy side's coming up right over here. Got uh, heavy side. Uh, what yeah, the hell is that way? Fast that up ring. That's heavy uh, side right there. Fast up bay to left. See a better term on the uh, uh, right right south. Near yeah, yeah, the south rim. Gregarin ought to be coming up pretty soon. Right underneath us. Well, I don't even have it on this thing. It's not even listed on your chart. One hours. Where'd the flight plan go? I got it. Oh, F8's okay, still good. Do you need it? Well, I just wanted to see what. Well, here. Yeah. F8's still good. Oh. Yeah, F8 is still good. Okay, it can has some of the uh, swirl structure in it. It looks like it had. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, this is Aiken. It. Uh, but again, there's just no clear evidence of relief now. The floor, there's a central peak, but there's also it looks like right. a hint of an inner craters right here are heavy side and keeler. These two big big basins back to back. Oh, okay. Now you look at 